Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and this is a little video for um, the audio setting of FLDGN, frankly, pretty much any uh, multi-mode decoder that needs, of course, the audio of a radio to be able to decode um, anything. So this is probably one of the first um, problems that most users have is how do I get the audio to the software? And um, depending on the computer you're using, it's easy or more complex. And depending on the sound card you have, it can even be uh, easy or complex also with internal SDRs. So this demonstration, whether you're using an internal or external radio, so an external radio will usually be connected to the input, a line-in or a microphone jack of your computer. A SDR like this will actually have the audio driven virtually within the PC. There are several options, and depending on what you use, you will have to choose the correct one. So the first thing about FLDG is to know that to change the place where all this is happening to change the audio configuration you have to go on the top to configure and then to configure dialog here you will have to open sound card and click on devices and you'll see there's capture and playback and this is where it has to be set correctly each option is available from your PC so whatever you have as capture devices it's going to show up here and you have to choose the correct one. You have to choose the one that is driving the sound off your radio. So depending on what you do. Um, in a SDR, you can even sometimes need to have a VB audio port, which is a virtual audio port that is created. And that will be a separate video to show you where and how I set it up to uh, try to help everybody here. In my case, I'm using a console, and my console is this one here. So my microphone is going to be the console. This is where it's all happening as I'm driving the sound of my PC through that console. And the console, of course, sends it back to the computer. So I'm actually using that. Now, maybe the port that you're using is not showing. Maybe something's not right. What can you look at? Well, the place you can look at it is in the control panel of Windows. In the control panel of Windows, you will click on sound and you will see that the little panel that pops up, you have two options. Playback devices or recording devices. So depending on what you do, you will need to have this working correctly. What your software is using is recording devices. This is where the audio actually goes through and this is where the audio needs to be chosen correctly. In my case, the Morse code comes from my default device here, which is the microphone of my console, or even the audio of my console. And as I talk, you can see that, you know, it's moving. If I actually take the uh, SDR software here, if I, and, and you can do the same with a regular radio, and, and I, I boost the volume higher, like this. Notice that in the control panel, audio, see that the sound level is pretty high here. So the sound level was high enough that you could see it go through. You know it's that one that's used. In some cases, you might actually be missing something. It could happen. Today's PCs, there's a lot of automatic detection. When you plug in something, very often it wants you to actually choose what you are doing. So of course if you're plugging a radio in the input, you'll want that input to act as a line-in or a microphone. So you have to answer that question and often Windows will pop up a little something, a little dialog box that's going to say, hey, what, are you di what did you just plug in? Because today a lot of the sound cards have only one input-output jack. It does everything. It can be an external speaker, it could be a microphone. And of course you can right-click in this dialog and make sure that you show disabled devices 
and disconnected devices so that you can see everything that's available to you in recording and in playback. So that's very important. And that's where you'll need to focus on how to get the audio to your software. Once you see that you've selected something, then it will be the configure dialog once again. In the config, you will have devices and you'll choose the correct one for capture and playback for decoding the sound. I know it is more complex than maybe it seems and sometimes you are in a uh, way that is a complex way of trying to have it working. Uh, one of them, an external radio is the easiest part. It's just mostly uh, making sure that the audio is detected within the control panel audio, the sound. And then it's just choosing the correct um, sound device here so that it works. When you're using an SDR, like I said, it could be tricky. A lot of sound cards have windows uh, that actually will have something called stereo mix. Stereo mix is cool because it makes it very easy to have a virtual audio driven to your uh, software. And when you have sound on your computer, what's going to happen is that stereo mix will actually be the recording that you will choose in the software. In cases like the PC I'm using now that does not have that, what I've done is I've added a piece of software that adds a virtual cable. And we're going to take a look at that in another video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.